I can say everyone must master this kind of skill. What I know that actually my life crisis found me. I have a challenge how to go out of the poverty. That one day you will be very, very wealthy. The day will come. Hello, welcome back to the O channel. Today our topic is about winning over crisis. Why this topic is so important and why we bring up this topic? Because as we know today that we are facing COVID-19. This COVID-19 become global crisis, not only health, but also finance and the rest of the aspect of life, of course. According to me, to master this kind of skill is very important. I call it life skill. So we will listen from Dr. Rao from Africa and Eileen come from Surabaya, including me. We will discuss this topic based on our personal experience, based on our life experience, and based on our business experience. So I hope you enjoy the talk show, the sharing from us. And of course, at the end of this video, I will make the conclusion or the summary or the highlight of our discussion. So enjoy the show. I want also to learn from both of them how they handle about the crisis, especially like a personal, also maybe in the collective. Crisis will always be there. There are people who are not trained to facing the challenge, to facing the crisis. And generally, they can give up and surrender themselves for the situation. My point of view is to help people to understand that we want or we don't want, we will always facing the challenge. How we will go out of this crisis? I think that's one of the things we will share today. Yes, I agree with you, uh, Raul. So now, because Pa Ongi with us today, and I know that he has many experience, especially uh, with the global fellow friends. Okay, what do you think, Pa Ongi? Okay, uh, crisis. I can say everyone must master this kind of skill. I call it skill because you can train it. This is a kind of training of your mind. Regardless, collective or individual, actually, the principle is the same. The most important thing is how you control your inner world. So my point is, so how to master this kind of skill that we must learn? Hopefully today we can uh, share, maybe Dr. Rao can share, even Eileen can share. I know uh, Dr. Rao and Eileen, we are together so many years. I believe Eileen also can share your wisdom, uh, experience. Uh, maybe I can ask you too, Eileen, share your wisdom about this. <laughs> <laughs> Paongi, <you're> so smart, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but I like it one sentence, Paongi, just now you said that uh, to handle the crisis, actually, this is about a life skill. And one thing that I like it, we can train. This is so amazing, yeah, Paongi. In 19, 1998 and 2008, at that time, the crisis only few, few country only, not, not like today, 2020 is everyone all over the world now. They're talking about crisis, crisis, everywhere now. Fira and then using the social media. So uh, that's why I know that, oh, actually that's crisis. <laughs> and uh, how I handle that time, what I know that actually my life crisis found me because I, I remember 1998, so for me, that crisis in my life. My family, uh, at that time also, still uh, borrow money, also rent a house. So that's a crisis for me. And also the crisis of self-confidence of me. That's my crisis at that time. But, but you didn't feel it. You didn't yes. feel that is crisis. That yes. is funny. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, become my 
you know, my partner, my coach, my mentor. Thank you, thank you. How about 2008? Because my community always with you and also the friends around it, they always talk positive, talk positive, talk positive, you know, and then uh, never touch the information outside. I still remember 2008, Paongi, you you challenged me and then you say like this, from, uh, from my business, for my business, you say that, okay, think about global, think about global, think about global. And that time you say to me that, go global, go global. I can imagine if I know that crisis, maybe I cannot receive your challenge. But that time, because you challenge me, go global, go global. Then in the 2008, I'm talking about global, I'm preparing global. And 2010, I met Rao Ruben Juno. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> now, now I want to listen from Dr. Rao. Uh, 10 years already, we are together uh, in the community and the business. I still remember the time that accident that happened to Rao, Dr. Rao, especially the wife, Nadine, when the car accident and the kids passed away on the spot. And the wife, Nadine, called Dr. Rao and talked to Dr. Rao. Okay, no problem. I handle it. Please, uh, you continue doing your meeting, doing your training. I know there's hundred, maybe thousand people in the room waiting for Dr. Rao to talk. And that time, I believe it's not easy when your wife in the car accident and the kid passed away on the spot and responsibility and you have the fantastic wife your wife say don't worry because there's thousand people more important than what happened to me but there's thousand people they're waiting for you they're more important can, can you share the feeling and the way how you handle that crisis yeah dr rao thank you paonki and uh, from where i grew in the poor family only the challenge to eat is already a crisis. I can see many people. Okay, I believe that's a challenge. That's a in the, yeah. yeah, connection. Connection challenge. challenge. Uh, meanwhile, waiting for Dr. Rao to uh, fix the internet, I think. Hey, Paongi, now my turn. <laughs> because I also want to know, because I know you since baby, if I'm not wrong. I know you since <laughs> baby, yeah. because we're talking about the personal crisis or collective crisis. Actually, in your life, uh, what is the, the most crisis? I think maybe the family crisis a little bit challenged. Like lately, I lost my my lovely kids. That is the one of the. It's not easy challenge for me. Uh, because we are so close. Uh, he is my good friend. And my son, youngest one. I think the challenge is not is not easy. It happened suddenly. And luckily, uh, I have the skill to master my mind, otherwise uh, the crisis maybe can go on, especially until now, the corona, another crisis also I, uh, in many things. The most difficult crisis is when something that and touch your heart and, and you feeling, uh, especially the persons that are so close to you and pass away, that kind of crisis is not easy. That's why just now I want to know also Dr. Rao, how he handled that. And of course, uh, the case and Dr. Rao and me are a little bit different because Dr. Rao, uh, the, the baby's not yet born. But my case, my son is already 15 years old. We are together for 15 years. The way I, I handle it because I always uh, to see the positive part of everything because I have the principle that everything happened for a good reason. And I also believe my son now with uh, God hands now uh, in heaven. And you know, because in the last 15 years, my son, uh, according to me, he is the one that's sent by God to bring the happiness in the family. He really playful, uh, almost no stress. Whatever event at home, 
he just play fun, a lot of fun, and his body language, his skill, and and a lot of thing that that make our family become very very uh, joyful, beautiful. And I see, and because his job already done, thanks God, already send him to my family the last 15 years. Yeah, I think Dr. Rao already handled the connection. Yes. Can we go back Before to Dr. Goes Rao? To Dr. Rao, Paungi, uh, I can tell that me, uh, you are so positive for this. Maybe after that we can learn more from you. But uh, now Rao already connect with the internet. Maybe can connect Rao. I wanted to say that uh, to my uncle because uh, basically he gave me a strong education that I must fight every second of my life. If we don't, facing the small challenge of small crisis, we will not be able to facing the big crisis. Because through the small crisis, we train ourselves to be ready always facing the challenge or facing the, cha the crisis. I have a challenge, how to go out of the poverty because I don't want to be poor like my parents. I wanted to change my life. I wanted to make my life more beautiful than my parents. How can I enjoy myself if I'm not ready to face a lot of challenge? And especially in the business area, it's extremely strong. We have people out of our life who have their own mindset and we must collaborate together and we are not sure that life it will be easy and we don't know what will happen in the next second or in the next minute or next hour it's why i share one more time i'm very grateful but especially when i join you you eileen to papa sudiento segundo and the founder, Mr. Onki Anatan, who helped me to train myself through the leadership and personal development to understand that I must give all the best. Raul, Maungi, looks like that this is a connection of yeah, Raul. I think I think the connection issue. And meanwhile, maybe I can add something that this is a skill. I can say this is a life skill. Because the the crisis will never, never, never die. <laughs> it's, it's a matter of time the crisis will come with another another way. Uh, today maybe like like the global crisis is a uh, COVID nineteen, and we don't know the next uh, two years, three years, five years, even the next uh, few days what happened to the world or what happened to my life, to your life, okay? That is why since this is a life skill, I think every single individual must pay attention or invest time to learn this powerful skill. I can say this is a life skill, how to master it, okay? And most of the people say maybe we can have the positive mindset Positive thinking, positive thinking. Then people think positive thinking is the only way to control the mind. But I can tell you, if only positive thinking is not enough, I can give you the reason why. That's why sometimes people don't believe. Even some uh, some of our friends, our our community. I mean, I mean the community. Mean maybe your family, maybe your school friends, and so on. Some of them they don't believe what called positive thinking. And I can understand if they don't believe positive thinking, you know why? Positive thinking is not enough. If, if we pay attention to what happened on this earth since maybe how many thousand years ago until this moment, even now, I can tell you the situation even worse because of the social media. So, so many information in the social media and our daily life, so many issues, so many negative friends, negative even family. Negative friends, ne negative family doesn't mean they are bad human, bad people. 
when I say negative is the mindset, negative mindset, you know. And so many negative people around us. According to the expert, is 95% information on the news, whether the television, radio, newspaper, today maybe we can say social media, 95% is negative. Meaning only 5% is the positive news on the media. So do you think if you only have the positive mindset is enough? And I give you, this is the fact, Eileen. Okay. According to the expert that in one day, in one day, we have about 60,000 thought in our mind. 60,000 a day. And 95% of them repeating. Meaning, meaning, for example, today you wake up in the morning. What uh, most of the people do in this uh, modern day when they wake up in the morning? What they do? Uh, open the handphone? Yes. Maybe they put the handphone on the, on the bedside. The first thing that they do, they, they open the handphone, then they start to watch social Facebook? media, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, and maybe a WhatsApp group. And most of the information in this media, as the experts say, 95% negative. Uh, and again, this habit, tomorrow morning, I will do the same thing, yes? I wake up. I take the phone, blah, 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 continue the same thing. And 95% is 90%, so 95% is repeating. Meaning only 5%, maybe the new thought. My question to you, the new thought is, what is that? Negative, positive. And mostly, positive. even you try to be positive, but you have surrounding by 95% negative. Is it possible if only positive thinking it works? No. But, if but so. Ongi, moment. Try to remember again, okay? Because you teach me a lot about the positive thinking, okay? You remember that day that I lost my confidence and then I talked to you. Actually, if I'm not going to the university or, the, or, or I'm not going to school, uh, how about my future? But how you that time Coach me my personal crisis. How? You know, at the time, Eileen was so young. You, you know, sometimes uh, uh, this is not only a joke. Uh, like in Robert Kiyosaki book say, we cannot teach the old dog with the new skill. Actually, this is true. Our human mind, sometimes so many negative issues already in the mind. If you tell them something, they cannot accept directly. And the good news is when I link that moment, maybe that time she was about... I'm 13 actually. 13, you see? So meaning, meaning in the mind of I link is like a, maybe if I have the glass of the water, I can show you. The glass of the water is so still clean, meaning no a lot of negative inside. So that's why when we put something, uh, teaching information uh, to the young people, it's more easy to lead compared with the, with the people who already experienced 40, 30, 60 years, something like that. My dream is simple. I want to make my father happy, my mother happy, and my family happy. I can buy a car and so on. I say, if so, you don't go to school, it's okay. Because, frankly speaking, you go to school is not to earn money. You go to school because you want to widen your horizon. Get more knowledge. Get even maybe a little bit wisdom over there. But go to school, the most important thing, go to school is a networking. You make friends. That is the most important thing in, in, in school. So especially like today, you can study at home. And this coronavirus proved it. So many schools now, they study at home. Meaning what? Meaning you also can study at home, especially when talking about personal growth. Okay? You can buy a book, positive book, 
personal development book, leadership book, whatever skill that you want to master, you can learn, you can study at home. And especially the dream, I think dream is want to buy the beautiful home. I say, if, if you want to make your dream come true, not necessarily go to the school. You get, you get my point. So don't make me wrong. Don't make me wrong. Please, for those who listen this one, don't tell your kids don't go to school. That is not my message. My message is because I think that time, the father was so poor, but doesn't mean I think life is end. I even tell I think that is the beginning of your life. Am I correct? But Pak Ongi, at that time, you're also poor. But how lead me also in the crisis? This is so special. This is another life skill. <laughs> life skill that you can learn, you can train it. And you know why? I learned something about life. That if you put your belief, your faith into your action, and if you totally believe it, it's a matter of time, dream will come true. And at that moment, even I was so poor also, I already have the mindset that I'm not poor. Maybe now financially, I am poor. But this is not my life. This is temporary. The same thing I transfer the knowledge, the message, the, the skill to Eileen at the time. Link, if you're poor today, it's okay. But the most important thing, you don't have the intention to be poor for the rest of your life. As long as you believe that one day you will be very, very wealthy, the day will come, of course, followed by the action. And what I link did, she believe what I say, and she followed by the action also. She worked smart and worked hard at that moment. That is why today I link become global entrepreneur, and her dream come true one by one. So. Even go to school doesn't mean, doesn't guarantee that Eileen life will be like, like today. Don't make me wrong. Doesn't mean you don't need to go to school. Please, please, whoever listen this one, I don't say you kid no need to go to school. My kid until today also uh, go to school. I think uh, Raul already, already. Yeah, Raul already right? inside. Yeah, I wanted to share that um, the crisis is a normal. And a normal person who are a fighter, a dreamer, must know that to go to the next type, no one can go in the next level without uh, go through the crisis. Uh, especially when Pa Onki share about my kid, you don't imagine that uh, you have a wife, pregnant wife, eight months and a half, just minus something like 15 to 20 days to give birth. And she decided to travel, or also me, I decided to go to another country. I was in the airport. She made an accident on the way. You see, and we lost the baby. But actually it's really difficult because in the same time, I have thousand people in one country who pay the uh, visa, who play the air ticket, who are living in the hotel waiting some training and also some personal issue. God bless my wife, Najin, was already trained to know that life is not just only us. We must think about others. Our challenge is, is it enough to abandon what we already start? Generally, many people abandon and give some reason and so, or some excuse to abandon fighting, facing the crisis. No crisis, no life. I think that if suddenly you don't have crisis or a challenge, you must check if you are alive. But nobody in this world can live without crisis.
from the day we born until the day we will pass away. And uh, it just depends how we are trained ourselves to facing the challenge. The more you grow, the more you must prepare yourself to facing the bigger crisis. I think that uh, my way to do is to be useful, to busy myself. I don't want to give any second of my ear or my eyes or my mind to listen the negative issue outside. To facing any crisis is to take action on the way to find the solution. And if you find the solution, we busy ourselves. And if you busy yourself, you will understand that the mind will be ready to facing many quality of challenge or many quality of crisis. But if you don't take any action, the issue will come and will totally eat yourself and eat your mind, even your spirit. And in the end of the day, you will look like you don't have any power to face even face of the simple crisis. Avoid them when they're talking so many negative things. With who I lost most of my time. Actually, crisis can happen to everyone, no matter what, even billionaire, millionaire. Only positive people can be happy.